Hi, so basically the next big event after my injury is going to the ER. So by day nine, none of my symptoms have gotten better and in fact they gotten worse. So not only was I super, super fatigued, I had a level nine head pain. I felt like a knife was stabbing um, onto the left side of my head or into the left side of my head. And um, my balance was absolutely horrendous. I was tripping up the stairs or down the stairs. I was dropping mugs when I thought I was placing them on the counter. Um, and it was really, really difficult to um, be around day-to-day -day sounds and light as well. It was summertime, so I was super sensitive with the bright light as well as any sounds. Um, to the point that my husband actually got rid of our um, speakers our surround sound in our house because that was just like too much so fast forward went to the er that night um and finally got in to talk to somebody about my symptoms of course it was not believable um here i am saying that i had an electrical injury from what we thought um diagnosed by the doctor haven't heard but from the doctor and um complaining of a headache so if you live near Portland, most people think that you are trying to get drugs. So um, did a quick little intake. One of the things that they did was the proprioception with my eyes closed, trying to find my nose with my fingers. When I was doing it, since I've had a while to heal, um, I'm super impressed that I can find it, but I was hitting my face, been missing, just completely whiffing. Um, and it was pretty terrifying because I thought I was sticking it every single time and I was not. Um, even with that, they thought I was fine. Even with the fact that my pupils were going all over the place, they thought I was fine. They gave me Tramadol and sent me home saying that I could schedule a CT later. I called to schedule that CT and they told me that I was not able to schedule a CT after being in the ER for a headache because she confirmed that I was just seeking drugs. Um, so back to trying to figure out this puzzle and not uh, getting my symptoms believed and not finding somebody in my corner. Shortly after the ER visit, about three days later, I saw the doctor that had prescribed the treatment that caused my injury. And she was completely flabbergasted. She actually was not alerted by her staff at all that I was under such severe pain. And she said, had she known, she would have stopped treatment immediately. So I underwent two more very, very, very harmful treatments, even though she was in the room on day one. So she felt really bad. She told me that she thought that it was definitely not TMS that caused my injury and assured me that she would help me find answers, but she did not believe that TMS caused my injury and I had to have had an underlying issue. So again, right after the ER, I was back at square one, even to somebody that I thought would at least understand that that treatment wasn't right for me and it didn't work and caused injury. Um, so that, <laughs> that was definitely a downer. And that is my experience immediately after my injury and talking to the psychiatrist who recommended TMS and the procedure that caused harm for me. After telling the psychiatrist what happened and my symptoms immediately after treatment and the two subsequent treatments, I was back at the drawing board. So I went to my primary care doctor and he did a few assessments. He is a PA, so alerted me that this is probably outside of his wheelhouse, but he would try to help as much as possible. But first, I needed to do a few drug trials. So we tried steroids, we tried tried two different prescriptions for headaches and migraines. We also tried every single over-the-counter drug for headaches. I was pretty much a lab rat and nothing worked. Um, in fact, my symptoms continued to worsen. After that, he told me that he would refer me to a neurologist. I asked him to do an occupational therapist. I heard good things about them. I got a referral um, to a headache specialist 
because I was told that pretty much my only symptom that could be traceable was my headache. I was on a wait list to see a neurologist and it was about four months out and the occupational therapist was two months out. So I was still sitting duck with all these different symptoms and pain um, and it pretty much made me bedridden for the most of the day as I recovered. So yeah, I was back to the drawing board trying to figure out what happened. Yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. Leave them down in the comments. Thanks.